Hello Pythonistas on YouTube and internet. Welcome to another video on Python and databases. Databases, And uh, today we are going to talk about using variables with queries with our SQLite 3 uh, database that we have been working on. So you, using variable with queries, uh, using queries defined as literal strings embedded in a program is inflexible. For example, when another project is added to the database, this query to show the top five tasks should be updated to work with either project. One way to add more flexibility is to build an SQL statement with the desired query by combining values in Python. However, building a query string in this way is dangerous and should be avoided. Failing to correctly escape special characters in the variable parts of the query can result in SQL parsing errors or worse, a class of security vulnerabilities known as SQL injection attacks, which allow intruders to execute arbitrary SQL statements in the database. The proper way to use dynamic values with queries is through host variables passed to execute command along with the SQL instruction. A placeholder value in the SQL is replaced with the value of the host variable when the statement is executed. U using host variables instead of inserting arbitrary values into the SQL before it, parse, it is parsed avoids uh, injection attacks because there is no chance that the, the untrusted values will affect how the SQL is parsed. SQLite supports two forms of, for queries with placeholders which are positional and named and we will uh, the positional parameters use the question mark and name parameters use the uses the colon and the parameter name variable so let's go into the position positional parameters and get our id up so a question mark denotes uh, positional arguments uh, passed to execute a method as a member of a tuple. So let's start writing our example code. We import the SQLite 3 and import this because we need, uh, we need pos uh, positional arguments from our command line and define our database file name and the project name we will get from our second second position from command line and let's open our database connect to it On. Then we define our cursor. Just connect this cursor, and then we define our query. So that ID. Excuse me. D I O R E. Priority should be right because I always mess up the spelling of some words. I don't know why. Maybe I'm dyslexic. Who knows? Uh, project is equal to there we have the question mark with is a positional argument and then we execute our query and what the project name there should be a comma here And 
Then we have our for loop to, to get all the tasks. Put it out. Formatting. And next placeholder. Arguments. So ask ID, priority, details, status, and deadline. And we save this to our Python database. SQLite and save it as SQLite3 event positional.py and for this we need to work from the command line because uh, I'm not very used to IPython yet but I'm working on it uh, to work from I, I know it's like percentage sign run something command but I think I messed up when I was testing it so I'll use the command line so let's try our tool with project name and we get the task so the command line argument is passed safely to the query as a positional argument and there is no chance for bad data to corrupt the database and let now let's try to use named parameters to use a name parameter for more complex queries with a lot of parameters or where some parameters are repeated multiple times within the query named parameters are prefixed with a colon for example, colon and the param name. So let's uh, redo our our query a little bit. So the, this part should be the same. And our query need to be updated a little bit. We use the project name as named parameter and name and then we order by deadline and prop o -E -T. and we need to change the query parameters same task ID priority details status deadline equals row yep and now let's save this as argument 
named. Save this and let's try that. And we get our tasks. So this works very well with the named parameters. So neither positional nor named parameters need to be quoted or escaped since they are given special treatment by the query parser. And query parameters can be used with select, insert, and update statements as well. They can appear in any part of the query where a literal value is legal. So if we try to update our database with named variables, let's try that. If you find a name, let's go to our database. ID is equal to the first parameter is the ID of the task and then we need to get the status which is the second argument from command line and we need to connect and open our database Cursor is equal to actions cursor. And now a query it is very simple. It's update task set status equal to status where ID equals to ID so we execute cursors dot execute query and status Update number two. We're done. And now let's see what's okay. Uh, the task number two is now updated. We're done. So this update statement uses two named parameters the ID value used to de define to find the right row to modify and the status value is written to the table so this is uh, was a very quick video on how to uh, use variables with queries i hope you have enjoyed it and if you have please hit the like button subscribe uh, share comment on the video and help me out to to create more videos of this type of stuff if you like it so please do some give some feedback and thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video okay bye guys